Um, the objective of my presentation was to give an overview of different approaches to use biopolymers as an alternative to commercial polymers um, in order to obtain the food quality. So, and um, yeah, I would say the challenge in this field is that um, that you have uh, or that you have materials which have um, good mechanical properties as well as barrier properties which are suitable to replace uh, conventional polymers and um, in this case I've shown different projects where we have used for example whey protein as a, um, um, as a byproduct from food industry and um, which is very um, promising um, as a barrier coating in a multi-layer. For this we have we used a purified whey protein and it was um, adapted chemically and we have used um, specific uh, additives like plasticizers in order to get a flexible um, whey layer film which can be incorporated in a multi-layer and um, in this way we have achieved a very good barrier properties and um, well it's suitable and it's um, for a, I would say a, a barrier packaging and furthermore it can be easily I would say um, degraded by enzymes and it makes uh, make it uh, um, uh, suitable for recycling and um, for example by using specific enzymes we can degrade the whey layer and we can separate the multi-layer to the simple to the single um, films and this makes it um, very easy to recycle at the end. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be here today because um, it's really worth to have a cooperation between industry as well as science and the um, public body because this is um, uh, really important to, from our side of, um, of view, especially for the scientists, to, to get uh, the needs of the industry in order to make applied science, to make um, development together with this industry and I think this platform is really worth to get in contact with um, uh, stakeholders as well as with um, decision makers from industry as well as from public bodies. You can find the whole presentation by clicking on the link below.